Hey everybody, this is Paul125 Roller Coaster Challenge here at Knobles Amusement Park in Illiesburg, Pennsylvania. So where is Illiesburg, Pennsylvania? Well, if you uh, draw a line between Hershey Park and Dorney Park, right in between and go north about 30 miles, it takes you to this very unique park here. So if you're familiar with Knobles, uh, you're going to know they are known for their uh, two wooden coasters here, Phoenix and stuff. And I'm not going to lie to you, this was a walkthrough that uh, it's late August, and we've been dreading this one because I'm going to show you this map here. Unlike most parks that actually have uh, set paths, this is basically a lot of attractions on a giant floodplain. So if you want to see the map, pause it right here. But we're going to walk through it, and we're going to go to the outer edge, and then go all the way to the back where Black Diamond is, go over to Phoenix, then cut across the Twister, then go back through by flying turns, and then end up over here at these picnic groves. So behind me here, um, you can see that they have a huge parking lot. It is free parking here, and there's a lot of picnic groves. So as soon as you walk in here, you're gonna see kettle corn, which is right there. And right there, that is Impulse, which is their steel coaster. One of the better attractions here. It's almost a Gerstlauer, but it's actually Zyre, I believe. And then right across from Impulse is probably their main gift shop. And we'll do a walkthrough of that later on in a uh, short. So right here's Impulse coming into the station. There you go. So there's many different ways you can come into the park. We decided to go in right by Impulse. But pretty much when you go into the property, it's, it's free admission. And it's free admission for a main reason because it's not very easy to police it. So you can either buy tickets here or you can actually get a day pass wristband. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, not really joking here, this used to be a street right here years ago before they blocked it off. But we got attractions on the left and on the right. And like I said, the best way for us to go this is actually to hug the outer edge. So using impulse as a guide, let's show you where we are here. Here's guest services, right after the loaf, which literally looks like a giant loaf of bread. Over here you got Dow Draft, and you got a balloon ride. And behind me right here, you actually got a giant Ferris wheel. So like I said, this main area that I'm walking on right now used to be a road, but now we're gonna cut into the middle here and start hugging the outer side of Knobles. Now this is the path I decided to take. There are hundreds of different ways that you can go to different attractions. So definitely check out the map before you come. But they have so many cool and unique attractions that I wanted to make sure we don't miss any. So right here, on the other side of the loaf is the Cookie Nook. And then right over here, with Impulse as your guide, you have a kid's ride here called the Flying Tigers. But you're not joking, they are tigers. And another neat attraction that they have here, right next to the Flying Tigers and Impulse, is actually a ski lift, which we may do a POV of eventually. But it actually takes you way up on the hill and back. So yet again, another very unique ride that they have here. And then right next to that is a whip attraction. So you have a lot of traditional rides here. And then right next to the Flying Tigers, which are right there, is their pirate ship. Yeah, a good picture of their pirate ship here called the Galleon. Now this one is closed today. No, oh, actually it's not closed, just nobody's riding it right now. And then over here by the edge, there is two more small attractions that we definitely want to show you. And this is right by the Whipper, which is the uh, Whip. And right there goes Impulse again. They actually have Cosmos Curves, which is their kids' attraction. And we'll show you that real quick. But right under Cosmos Curves is actually a boat attraction. So at one point, this is where a high-speed throw coaster used to be. But they refurbed it. They got it all up to date and stuff like that. So this is Cosmos Curves, 
But like I said, the neat thing about it is that you actually have boats that go underneath it, which are a fun ride. At one point, Devin actually got the boat stuck when he was a kid, which is, if you tell by how wide the channel is, it's actually uh, kind of a challenge to do. There goes the galleon. So there's like hundreds of attractions here, so. Right next to the galleon is actually their flying trapeze. Wave swinger type ride. This is a good picture picture here. So you got the flying trapeze right next to the galleon ship. All right, so we're going to keep going deeper. And right here, you got the candy corner. You got some Dippin' Dots, you got some refreshment stands. Not everything's going to be open because it isn't Monday in late August. So I'm actually surprised how many kids are actually here currently just because uh, a lot of the schools have already opened for the season. Now the ride here is actually out of surface, but we actually already did a short of this one, which is actually called Satellite, which is a traditional salt and pepper shaker. And there's Cosmos Curves going in the background. Now these are great attractions, and yet again, like I said, you've got the flying trapeze next to Cosmos Curves going next to the satellite. So you got so many different things going. And this is the line for the motorboats that we showed you earlier that actually go underneath the um, Cosmos Curves. So we'll get you a quick little photo of that. So here's the boats. And it actually is a motorized, so you're not really on a track, believe it or not. And then right next to that is the bumper cars, which are voted some of the best bumper cars in the country. These are by far the best bumper cars that we've ever ridden. We always have a blast with those bumper cars. Let's send you back over here. So like I said, we're uh, hugging the side. So there's the boats. Got all the different boats, all the different things. Back there's the Cosmos Curves going by. And here we kind of found a little kid section here that we're gonna show off here. Looks like you got some Red Baron planes. Right here. I mean, the one thing about Knobles is they take care of their uh, attractions. This is Kitty Boats. As you can tell, they got bells. You see these a lot at the boardwalk parks. So that was the Red Barons. And over here is hand cars. Here's something you don't see every day. So these got hand cars here. So if you're trying to tire the kids out, I highly recommend these. And over here is another great kids attraction here. And you know what makes it great? The fact that they actually have an ostrich there. So you guys, it's basically a carousel that has cars and hippos. Oh my gosh, there is a hippo. And I am pro hippo every time. All right, so this is the kids section that they have over here at the park. A few more attractions. Now like I said, we're still hugging the side here. So to give you perspective, we are face halfway through. Right here is tickets for, where you can get the tickets for the rides, like we said, balloon bus. But over here is actually a show pavilion. And unlike a lot of the other parks, they are actually doing shows. We told you to stay in your zone, don't? So Johnny Cash and June Tribute Band. It's the old 97, the Family Circus. Give me a second here, check out the band. So, unlike a lot of parks that have cut back on their attractions, they actually still have them. Now, this one is Jet Fighter. This is a Jet Fighter ride for kids. Another fun attraction. And over here, you actually got it called Ribbit. And you gotta love Ribbit. So this is a drop tower. Now what I think is really neat, it's kind of blocked off today, but you actually have the sky slide back there. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this because I know when I was a kid, I enjoyed the sky slide a lot. Oh, there, there's the hand cars. But right here is a good shot of the sky slide, which is, like I said, closed today. 
like all amusement parks this year, they're having a tough time staffing, so. So that's Ribbit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the creek. Oh wait, oh, I forgot there's pony cars here too. So there is a, numerous kids attractions. That's the pony carts. Now we're gonna go across here. Now, if you wanna check out about the history, this creek floods all the time and you're gonna see in different areas of this park, uh, the high water marks and stuff that they show all the time. All right, so we're still in the kids section here. We've got a couple more little attractions that we wanna show you. Over here we actually got the kitty wheel. Now this is all hugging aside, the road's right over there. And over here is some really kind of cool cars here. This is a nice little attraction here. It looks like it's actually pretty quick. So while a lot of kid rides are slow, that one's whipping along pretty good. And look, they even got little diggers here for a, uh, actually it's uh, just like a quarter, so pretty affordable. So this is pretty much the kitty section that we're hitting right now. There's a couple more cool kitty rides. There's some new cars there. And back here, it looks like you got a going buggy and you got these weird looking bug things, which is, let's be honest, this is a little, a little scary here, these things. And you got the guy on the top there. And over here, those are the Panther cars that we saw whipping by before. Now we're almost done with the kids section. And we're kind of in the heart, like I said, we're gonna hug the back here. Now this park actually has two carousels. So this is a more Stein and Goldstein carousel. And even though this is like more of a kitty carousel, the artwork they got is second to none. And they got the little town, so there's Elysburg, Stillings Grove, Berwick, Northumberland. So this is very traditional to this area. Now we're here, right outside Kitty Land, which is right here. We're gonna start heading towards the back of the park, but here you actually got some traditional um, Smith, so you actually got Valley Smithery. So this is literally ironworks. You can actually see the forge going. You get personalized horseshoes and such. Here's what I was talking about before. Here's the high water mark of 2011. As you can tell, that's, that's pretty high. I'm about six foot tall, and that was taller than me. So we've come back here with some cabins and a restroom. So now we're gonna walk along the edge here. And even though we are kind of out of the kitty section, there's actually still some attractions here. This one is called Pete's Fleet. And this is more of a traditional older attraction. So, that's Pete's Fleet. Now back here used to be a giant wood carving station, but a few years ago, the gentleman who ran it for years actually retired. So that's kind of gone. And here's another bridge that would take you to some additional kids' attractions and the water thing. But I want to show you a little bit more here. So this log has been here forever, but this used to be, it's a 220 year old white oak. Because you are pretty much in a picnic grove. So this is called the single saw. This was a wood carving area that's no longer around. But we're gonna jump back across here real quick here because there's a few more kitty attractions here. Cosmo's Clubhouse. Bears to go. And over here is a mini bumper cars. You got some helicopters back there and you got some fire engines. So now we're done with the kids section. Now we're gonna head more towards the back of the park. We're gonna go out towards the uh, Black Diamond. So, and of course there's more kettle corn. And of course we have a Dippin' Dots because it is an amusement park. Not joking about that. Now over here, this is one of my favorite places here. It's called the Baked Potatoes. And they're not lying, they got a lot of great baked potato items. Of course they're closed, but I wanna show you their uh, menu quick here because this is one of the top places Jeannie and I will go to eat. Uh, the baked potato, pulled pork sandwiches, uh, rib barbecue, classic nachos. They got a great menu here. So there's the Dippin' Dots. Notice that's Halloween themed. And you want to know why? Because one of the signature attractions here 
at Knobles, pretty much right smack in the middle of the park, is the Haunted Mansion. And this is a traditional dark ride. Uh, and it says, you know, caution of seizures and stuff like that, because it really does uh, flash and everything like that. So let's show you this real quick here as one takes off. These are the old pretzel rides. So people come right through there, they go right through that door, and they come screaming out the other side. So highly recommend visiting the Haunted Mansion. There is very few of these pretzel dark rides still around. So definitely check them out when you can. All right, so here's part of the food court. Uh, they have an ice cream place over there, it's all little ice cream, and we're gonna hit that a little bit more later on. We're still working our way towards the back of the park. And over here you actually got Laser Command, which is now a century friendly comfort room. So, you know, when it comes to the Knobles, there's no building that they don't utilize. So back here you actually got a shooting gallery. And you got another show pavilion right here. Once Upon a Time Theater. Which uh, looks like they have uh, show times at 1, 3, and 5. So this is a marionette show. So you can see they pop out everywhere. But look at that stage there with the clocks and everything. This is great. And then right over here, this is a place you must, must, must check out. And we will be doing a short on this. This is the Knobles Carousel Museum. And anything, there's so many classic carousel uh, things here that you definitely want to make sure you check it out. All right, a couple more uh, attractions back here. This is a nice little parachute ride. And right next to the parachute ride is actually the Roundup. Now, to give you a perspective of where we are, right there is the giant flume and phoenix. So we're gonna go check those out in a second there, but there is a couple of little things back here yet. I wanna make sure that we, uh, we're doing a full park walkthrough, people. And by full park, I mean full park. But this is Roundup. You see these at a lot of Six Flags and stuff like that. Now, as you come back here, uh, I've been coming here for about 20, 25 years, and I never even knew this existed until the last time I came with Devin, I believe. And if you come back here, there's actually two eagles. And we did a short on these eagles uh, the last time we were here in June. So I want to show you the eagles. And this is the far, I guess, back of the park um, is this way. And the only thing really out here is the eagles and of course, uh, Black Diamond, which uh, we actually uh, have a nice little historical thing with Black Diamond because it was actually Gold Nugget over at Hunt's for years and then the Knoebel saved it. So here's the eagle encounter right here. And actually, the eagles are both uh, saved eagles. They would have died in a while, but back there is the eagles. So, they're chilling out in the shade. But yeah, this structure right here is Black Diamond, which used to be Gold Nugget at Hunt's Pier. And I love the fact that they took it from Black Diamond. I mean, they took it from Gold Nugget, which was pirate-themed and gold and all that. And they turned it into uh, Black Diamond, which is coal-themed. So... So the one thing we love about Knobles is they save their rides and it's closed today, but it is a fantastic ride. Uh, traditional ride, it's great that they saved this from the chopping block. All right, so now we're hugging the back end of the park. And one of the things that definitely uh, the very unique to the Knobles is the fact that you actually have a uh, anthracite museum. But before I do that, actually this section right here is the International Food Court. Now, yet again, closed today because staffing. But this is where you really want to go. So if you look on the map for Black Diamond, you will find this here. You got chicken sandwiches, American, world cuisine, bison burgers, and all that kind of stuff here. So it's closed today, but over the weekends, definitely make sure this is a great place to stop. It's kind of like the uh, potato, uh, big potato barn too. All right, so now we're out here in a high area here when it comes to rides and attractions. 
But right here, this is the Anthracite Museum. And we're gonna be doing a short on that. So keep your eye open for that. And here's something that I spent way too much money over the years, and this is the gems that Devin loved. You buy, uh, basically you buy a bag of dirt, and then you uh, sift it through here, and you can get these kind of rides. And it's right next to the giant flume, which is a marquee attraction here. And we're gonna do a quick little observation deck. But before I go to the observation deck, um, right here there's another ticket booth. Right there's that parachute that we showed you before in the clock thing. But right here is a store, which has a lot of great apparel. But let's, uh, let's show you a little bit of the uh, giant, giant flume here. Because this is one of the best ones. It, it's up there on the same level as a Mori's uh, Zoom flume for me. There you go. So it's basically the backdrop is the Anthracite Museum. But if you look here, it's got two drops. You go up the hill over there. You go flying down this way here. There's a, one of the drops. You've got geysers so you can hit buttons here. And for a quarter, you get your friends even wetter. Or even enemies. Uh, or even people you don't even know. You're free to do whatever you want to do to people. Here comes some more geysers. There we go. They got them. So that's a giant flume. So now here along this back end here uh, is more food attractions, but right here is, here's that gift shop. It's a nice warm day, so the flume might actually be in my future soon. But there's a lot more attractions here. You got the backyard barbecue. And if you're familiar, uh, the one thing about, look at that corner of the cob guy. Uh, the thing that's really neat about Knobles is their food is very affordable. You can get first chicken, bacon on a stick. They like to put things on a stick here, but the prices are very reasonable. And here you got the flume photos and some games that are not operating right now. But as you come down this way here, there's a lot of games. So you got a lot of novelty games there. And here's some more. If you're thinking about like a midway, this would probably be the closest thing to a midway that Knobles has. And the main reason is because this is the Phoenix Junction Steakhouse. And why would they call it the Phoenix Junction Steakhouse? Well, so another pavilion of food. But why would they call it the uh, Phoenix Junction, huh? Well, there's one main reason. And before I show you that, right here is the bigger gift shop here. Uh, we'll do a walkthrough of this one. This one has all the kind of stuff that you want, but let's be honest. If you're a coaster enthusiast, this is why you come to Knobles, which is Phoenix, which is the winner of numerous, and I do mean numerous, um, awards when it comes to winning coasters. And here's what I really like here. So you got the Phoenix, the emission price, and all that, but they also have a sign from what it used to be. It used to be at a park in Texas called Playland, and it used to be called The Rocket. So they actually have a sign for the old rocket next to the Knobles. Now, you hear music and you're not going crazy. Oh, actually, before I show you the music here, let's just show you the uh, all the victories that this uh, coaster has. This is the pride and glory of Knobles. And it's won the best winning coaster uh, 2021. They've won it so many years now. They actually have a train right out front here. And if you like airtime, this is definitely a high airtime thrill. And right next to it, let me show you the, gal the organ before I jump over to some of the other sections here. Now, we're at the 25 minute mark of this video. And if you're still following us, uh, make sure you like this. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe. But here is our classic organ. Now, at one point they had a thing, uh, a setup here that was pretty much focusing on uh, plants versus zombies, but they kind of got rid of that, which is nice. And yes, you can bring your dog to the park. So this is Gasoline Alley right here, which is their antique cars. 
and it's a great track for anti cars. And of course, you know, you got all the cars in the back there, but there's the lift hill right there for Phoenix. You see going up real quick before I leave this section. Now, one thing about this section back here, they've been adding on a lot of their newer attractions here. There goes Phoenix going up the first lift hill. But they've been adding a lot of attractions here. And actually, one of the things that they added with COVID was, uh, if you're watching this in the winter time, uh, head on out to a joy through the Grove, which is a, it is a very good light experience. Uh, they are not joking about that. We went through the first year and you expect things to build up. They hit the ground running with so many lights. Now, one of their newer attractions, there's two of them actually, but this is Tumbling Timbers and we did a short on this. So if you're interested, definitely check out that short. It's on the uh, playlist. And then back here is Fandango, which is the claw ride. With Phoenix flying through the background there. And of course they got Dippin' Dots. Now some of these are houses that were bought up by the Knobles later on and converted into different aspects. All right, so we are now towards the back of the park. So if you go past here, past the Phoenix, down that direction, they have a huge campground area. And the neat thing about the campground is you actually um, go through the campground to enjoy the, uh, through the Grove. And also, if you're checking this out around Halloween time, they have Hollow Fun weekends here. And that's the weekends for that. So that's the way that takes you to the campground. And we're walking around. Remember that main road when we walked in? We are back on that main road because there's still probably about 40% of the park we still have to hit. This might be our longest explore video, but like I said before, there are so many attractions here that it's crazy. And look, they got pumpkin patches ready. So this one's Tornado. And this is one of their newer attractions. And it's right next to their drop tower called Stratosphere. So that's Tornado. And that's Stratosphere. Which I actually say is one of the best names for those kind of attractions. So as we come over here, we're going to cut back this way in a second. But there is a little outcove, I guess would be the best word for it. And yet again, at one point, this used to be a public road. So, the fishing hole. And right there is Flying Turns. And we're going to see Flying Turns in a second. But... Over here to the right is actually Twister, which is their other uh, major roller, wooden roller coaster here. So we want to go show you that. And there's a Starbucks too. But yeah, it's kind of neat how you go over the stream. And Twister's kind of out here by itself. It's pretty much connected to the uh, picnic grounds. It, it's right up against that. And there's also a water attraction area that we'll show you too. But as you walk down here, let me show you some great shots of Twister. I, some days I enjoy Twister more than I actually enjoy Phoenix. But look at that mammoth structure. It is a top attraction here. Kind of like the Haunted Mansion. Twister and Phoenix are must rides. And over here, you actually have a gift shop. You have a little toy thing here. This is where I usually go to get my t-shirts. I got a lot of Twister gear, Knobles, a lot of different, um, mostly Twister stuff here. But it's definitely worth it. It is one of the best uh, attractions at this park. And we're we'll seeing in a second, it's going up the lift hill. Now, when they built this, they bought the plans. They didn't move this one from another place, but it's. Uh, kind of like Mr. Twister over in, uh, I believe it's Colorado, but they didn't have enough space to actually put it there. So they actually did a unique thing, and you'll see it in a second, it's actually a split lift hill. So as you go up, you got a split lift hill. Here's uh, one of the water attractions they have here, but you have to come through the other area to do it. We're going to walk through here. Now it looks like the Starbucks is closed yet again. Uh, any of your staffing. But what I want to actually show you is why they call it Twister. So you see it coming through there. 
but you're gonna see it right here it actually has a double um, twisting section which is kind of neat it should be flying through here in a second and then we're going to continue it once again if you like the video make sure you subscribe we do uh, walkthroughs all the time so there it is going through once and it actually goes through twice all right so this is kind of a dead end so now we're going to go back across the street and we're going to go in by uh, flying turns which is pretty much the last coaster we need to show you guys now flying turns uh historically that spot had uh the uh, whirlwind and other rides but here they actually decided to build their own wooden bobsled it is the only one in bobsled that is actually uh, built right now. So now the only issue I have with flying turns is a fun ride, but they have to weigh you to make sure the dis weight distribution is good. And then the other thing too is the load times are very uh, slow because they do have to weigh you. So I'll give you a point, here's the main road, there's Stratosphere. And we're gonna pop in over here by the flyers. But here's the backside of flying turns. The only one in the world. So if you're looking for a unique coaster credit, this is where you want to go. Now these are the original flyers for me. When I was uh, a kid, these were the uh, flyers that we had growing up. And they keep on having to cut back the trees because you will hit the trees as you uh, go. All right, so now we're going back into the main heart of the park. But I want to show you a couple things that we kind of miss. Yet again, there are paths everywhere. So this is not the easiest of uh, parks to actually do a walkthrough for. But right here by the flyers is Fudgy Nut Shop. We found it, people. Stony Gables. And uh, if you have been following our videos, you know that fudge is my go-to. Peanuts aren't bad, but I'm definitely pro fudge. Now right also nestled here is a big crane game, but nestled between flying turns and the flyers is the looper, which is basically a hamster wheel. So it's kind of a neat little uh, place to go and check out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back towards the Phoenix area so you can see where we're going to go from here, okay? Now this is the entrance of flying turns. So in relation to Phoenix, Phoenix is right up this path here. Right. So there's a couple more things I want to show you uh, on this path, which is why we're actually backtracking. This is a shoot 'em game here. Yet again, closed, but it is great. So this is the Christmas shop. Now the neat thing about this Christmas shop was this was actually a person's house for years, and he refused to sell. So you would actually be going to Knobles in the '80s, and there would be people living in this house. And then when he finally passed away, the Knobles bought it and turned it into a Christmas town with actually a North Pole. This is frozen at all times of the year. It is ice cold, it is a North Pole, but yet again, the neat thing about this was somebody used to live here and have a amusement park right across the street from them years ago. All right, so now we're gonna backtrack. We're heading back towards uh, Impulse and the main food court. So we haven't done that yet. Now, you saw the Christmas place. Here is actually Sports World. So they have a lot of Phillies, Flyers, Sixers, all that kind of stuff uh, in that area. So this store's got that, and we're gonna do a store walkthrough uh, in the future. All right, so this area here, this has the Cosmotron. So this is kind of like a Himalaya on crack, is the best way to do it. Uh, it's an indoor thing here. It, spins you round and round, round and round, like a record baby, round, 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 round. And then right past it is actually my father's favorite ride because this was the Tilton World that knocked him out and he was never able again to actually ride spinning rides after this Tilton World. We think he threw up somewhere down this way. But this was the ride and that music you hear is actually the Cosmotron. But that is the Tilton World that knocked my father out of riding rides for pretty much ever. Now, give me a perspective. Right here is the entrance to the Carousel Museum. is right over there. Apparently, not all the school districts actually are, are in yet. 
And of course, we got traditional teacups here. And over here, you got a paratrooper ride. So they got a lot of traditional rides. Now, to give you a perspective of where we are now, over there is the potato place there, and right over there is the Haunted Mansion. So now we're hugging the farther end of the park. And right here is, like I said, is the paratrooper. But the other thing that makes Knobles kind of pretty unique is actually the fact that they actually have a 18-hole mini golf course right in the middle of their amusement park. And you don't really see that much in the middle of amusement parks. So there's the paratrooper. And over here are some more games. And over here is the flying robo jets. Roto jets, not robo, roto. So yet again, they have another traditional ride right here. And with Gary perspective, right over there is the mini golf course. These are roto jets. And now this is actually the main ticket booth area here. This is where you can get your one price ride passes, so your passes for the day. Now this is actually a site for sore eyes. There's two things here. If you're looking for a photo spot, you got my name with Cosmo right there. And then you got the crazy clown having a fun day at Knobles. Now, I'm actually very excited about this because they just noticed, and they just said it, the wharf is now open. So this is actually my favorite place to eat with the Sloppy Joes and stuff, but it was closed for most of the year. Now, of course, over here is Fascination, which is kind of your casino type thing, arcade. Over here is a general store. This is the wharf. I've loved going to the wharf for years because you got a great view of the covered bridge. So there's a regular bridge, that's the main road bridge. But they actually have this classic wooden bridge right here that goes over the creek. And then of course they have the lighthouse. And this guy's fairly new. I don't remember him there, but here they would actually, you could do a puppet show in here too, in this lighthouse. So that's a neat little feature. Here's the entrance to the mini golf. So we're gonna go across the bridge and then we're gonna go check out the last of the real major attractions. And that is actually the Grand Carousel. But it is a very beautiful park. Here's your birthday pavilion. So if you're having a birthday party, you can go right here. The main road's that way. But right over here, right along the creek, is the Grand Carousel. And we have to give you a good little view of this thing. This is by far the best carousel because it actually has the brass ring. So right there is the organ. And then right here is the Grand Carousel. It is stunning. The artwork is fantastic. Right here is actually the brass ring that you can grab. That arm reaches out when it starts and you can actually grab the brass ring as you walk around. But like I said, this is one of the most beautiful carousels that we've ever been witness to. If you're interested in the history, Janine knows all about it. All right, so there's a couple more attractions here. Now over there is the show pavilion we were at before, but right next to the carousel is their arcade. So if you like to lose money and get nothing for it, the arcade's there for you. That is the carousel. We just walked around the carousel. Now we're heading back out towards the main road again by the birthday gift. Uh, the birthday pavilion's right over there. But we're going out to the main road because there's a couple more attractions that we still have to show off for you. And there's a trash can that's uh, kind of artsy. Over here you got a balloon shop. And over here, this is like more of their fancier restaurant. So if you're looking for like a sit down meal, I would highly recommend this location right here. Yet again, it's right off the main drag. And I'll show you the menu real quick here. 
That's a small fry menu. Yeah, here we go. This is the Alamo, and it's pretty much right near the loaf. Like I said, we kind of zigzagged a lot, but uh, the Alamo is where you want to go to get it sit down. Now, when it's a hot day, this is the main road again, so to give you a perspective, in the background there, that is Twister. But right in front of Twister is actually a giant spring-fed swimming pool. And actually, so we saw the Twister and how they had some small water attractions there. Well, here, you actually have the giant's pool and in the back there, you actually have some slides. So you can actually hit the water slides and all that. And of course, right over here is a lemonade stand, which I believe would be closed today because it is hot and I think you can literally cook yourself here. Over here is a half mile train ride, which we'll be doing a POV of later. But this actually takes you all the way to the campgrounds. So you can go all the way towards the back. It has some great theming. We're gonna do a POV, of course. But this is our train ride. And like I said, we're back on the main drag. And there's some attractions here. Give you a perspective, right there is Impulse in the Distance. That's where we started this adventure almost 40, 45 minutes ago. So, but here's the Alamo. You can actually get your chicken waffle sandwiches. Here's Power Surge. This is one of their um, more extreme rides. Uh, definitely throws you around a lot. There's a Galleon that was we saw before. There's a Balloon Ride we saw before. And a Ferris Wheel, of course. So Balloon Ride is flying high. Power Surge is down. There's a couple more rides back here. Over here, of course, you know they had to have one. They got themselves a Scrambler right here. Definitely a traditional ride here. The height of the balloons. Over here you got a Kitty Himalaya. And this is another one. So you got Power Surge, and then you got Downdraft, which is another one of their more extreme flat rides. Great view with the Ferris wheel in the background. You got some flying frogs over there. You got the boat. There's a good shot of the ski lifts all the way going up there from earlier. And we are almost done. There is a few more attractions back here. Now, as you come over to this side here, this is going to be pretty much picnic groves and stuff like that. Um, you know, they have some games here. Of course, they're closed because, you know, it's a little bit off season. Now, right here, this is Loosh, which is their shoot the shoots. Oh, there's a train going. And it looks like they're building something right here, so there's going to be something new and exciting coming there soon. More than likely, that's where the Bayou and Curve's going to go. Uh, they've been talking about bringing that in here, but here's Sploosh. And of course, it's not going today, but this is a typical um, shoot to shoots. And these are all the picnic groves, all the company picnics and all that's over this way. There's tons of picnic areas where we're at. And this is the last attractions right here. You got the rock and tugboat, and you got the submarine. So, this is Paul 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, and you just did a complete walkthrough of Knoebels Amusement Park in Ellisburg, Pennsylvania. If you like what you see, please make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe. We're trying to get a thousand uh, subscribers by the end of the year, so your support would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.